Hi, my name is Judy Feldhausen, and on behalf of the Million Lives Project, I'm going to help answer the question, what is nitric oxide therapy? In a nutshell, this is Nobel Prize winning information that can improve your blood flow to naturally address most cardiovascular issues. If you or someone you know has high blood pressure or diabetic complications like poor wound healing, poor blood flow, and neuropathy, then this information will be helpful to you. Maybe you have a family history of strokes or heart attacks and you want to significantly reduce your risk. Or cholesterol concerns, cognitive function issues, and for men, sexual health issues like ED. Then this presentation is your opportunity to understand how nitric oxide therapy can be a natural and effective way to address these concerns. Now, for many, this is new information, information that the medical community has not shared with you. So let's validate this information. In 1998, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers who discovered how the lining of your cardiovascular system what is called the endothelium, converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. This set off an explosion of research in this area. There are now more than 100,000 peer-reviewed clinical studies in the areas of nitric oxide therapy. Unfortunately, most people have never heard of this natural way to address cardiovascular health concerns. Thankfully, today that changes because once you understand the proper application of this information, you'll have the ability to apply the knowledge to address the underlying cause of most cardiovascular health issues. That cause is what the medical community refers to as endothelial dysfunction, or in most cases, atherosclerosis. As you can see by the slide, damage to the lining of your cardiovascular system accumulates over time. This results in cardiovascular health concerns and a dramatic reduction in nitric oxide production. As I've already mentioned, the lining is called the endothelium. When healthy, it regulates almost all of your cardiovascular system. However, there are four major items that directly damage your endothelium. They are high blood pressure, high blood sugar levels, LDL cholesterol, or more specifically, very low density lipoprotein, and nicotine. Going back to our previous slide, this damage starts out as inflammation. If this inflammation is not directly dealt with, then your body treats it like an injury. Through a combination of factors, this results is what's known as plaque formation. And over time, this plaque formation grows, which reduces blood flow, commonly called atherosclerosis. This narrowing of the artery reduces blood flow and the delivery of oxygen and nutrients, as well as the proper removal of metabolic and cellular waste products. As this plaque ages, it also becomes brittle and can more easily rupture, causing a blood clot that can then lead to a heart attack or stroke. And as you can see by the slide, a drastic reduction in nitric oxide production. So the question is, why is nitric oxide so important to your cardiovascular health? And the answer is three key benefits. First, nitric oxide relaxes the smooth muscle of the vascular wall, causing vasodilation for improved blood flow. This is extremely beneficial for the majority of people with high blood pressure. In fact, helping your endothelium produce higher levels of nitric oxide is a natural way to bring your blood pressure back into the normal range. And since high blood pressure is the number one factor for strokes and heart attacks, as well as the number one diabetic complication, this can be a natural method for addressing these issues. 
The second key benefit of nitric oxide is that it keeps blood platelets from sticking together. This helps to reduce the risk for strokes or heart attacks. And the third key benefit is that when your nitric oxide levels are high enough over a long enough period of time, it can initiate repair mechanisms to heal the damage done to the endothelium. This process restores more of your endothelium back to healthy tissue, which leads to higher levels of nitric oxide to help continue this healing process. As you can see, nitric oxide is critical to your cardiovascular health, which brings us to another key question. How do you optimize your endothelium ability to create the needed nitric oxide? And the answer centers on six key ingredients. They are L-arginine, L-citrulline, red grape polyphenol extract, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, and pomegranate fruit extract. L-arginine is always the first and most important ingredient. As I showed earlier, the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers for discovering how your endothelium converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. And while L-arginine can be found in the food you eat, the easiest method to make sure you're consuming enough of this amino acid is to use a daily nutritional supplement that contains pure free form L-arginine that's also pharmaceutical grade. Unfortunately, the use of L-arginine by itself is not enough. The conversion of L-arginine to nitric oxide only provides a two hour window of improved nitric oxide production. Then within four to six hours, most people are back to their baseline levels. This results in a temporary increase in blood flow, but not long enough for lasting benefits. To optimize your production of nitric oxide, you must combine the L-arginine with L-citrulline. This amino acid is metabolized to yield more L-arginine which enhances the ability of the enzymes of your endothelium to produce higher amounts of nitric oxide over a much longer period of time. Here's the metabolic pathway. And as, as you can see by the red circle, L-arginine is key to keeping nitric oxide production going. The next key ingredient is red grape polyphenol extract. It's important to have this key nutrient because it helps reduce LDL oxidation, which typically causes vascular inflammation, leading to plaque formation and damage to your endothelium. Vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 work together to regulate calcium levels in your bloodstream. Calcium is a key ingredient because the enzymatic production of nitric oxide by your endothelium is a calcium dependent reaction. Additionally, vitamin D3 supports healthy cardiovascular function and inflammatory response. And increasing the vitamin D levels in your bloodstream can have a profound benefit in helping to prevent diabetic complications. Now let's look at vitamin K. You need to know that the form of vitamin K is critical. Many companies use vitamin K1 because it's significantly cheaper to use. The problem is Vitamin K1 does not support vascular health and may actually interfere with blood thinning medications. Vitamin K2 is just the opposite. This correct form significantly improves arterial and cardiovascular health. It also plays an important role in preventing calcification of the arteries as well as soft tissue like your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Finally, we have pomegranate fruit concentrate. This ingredient enhances the enzymatic activity of the endothelium, leading to higher production of nitric oxide. In peer-reviewed clinical studies, pomegranate fruit concentrate has been shown to reverse plaque formation within the vascular system because of its ability to increase nitric oxide production.
This brings us to one final question. How does improved nitric oxide production benefit your cardiovascular health? To answer this, let's look at several concerns. We'll start with high blood pressure because it's the number one risk factor for strokes and heart attacks, as well as one of the leading causes of arteriosclerosis that contribute to endothelium dysfunction. As your vascular system narrows, this increases the resistance to blood flow, causing an elevation in blood pressure. To counter this, you need to reduce the resistance to blood flow. Nitric oxide does this by relaxing the smooth muscle of your vascular wall, which lowers the resistance to blood flow. For many, this one simple step helps to return the blood pressure back into normal range. Another concern is cognitive function, especially as it applies to Alzheimer's disease. Every study that we know of that shows improvement in blood flow to the brain improves cognitive function. And the bottom line to nitric oxide therapy is improved blood flow. Plus, there is emerging science that shows that endothelial dysfunction plays a contributing factor in the start and progression of Alzheimer's disease, which means anything you can do to improve the health of your endothelium to optimize nitric oxide production for improved blood flow can significantly reduce your risk for cognitive issues. Nitric oxide therapy can help address this issue by optimizing nitric oxide production. This leads to increasing baseline levels of nitric oxide, which can then initiate repair mechanisms to heal damage to the endothelium. Improved nitric oxide production also benefits athletic performance. This applies to both men and women. As blood flow improves, so does the delivery of oxygen and nutrients. This helps athletes work out at a higher aerobic capacity. Aerobic respiration produces 18 times more energy, plus it limits the accumulation of lactic acid, which is the limiting factor for most athletes in both their workouts and athletic performance. What I've just shared with you is just the tip of this iceberg of this miracle molecule. See my other videos for specific health challenges. And if what I've shared with you today makes sense, then please contact me. You can either call me directly at 800-957-8946 or email me at judy at cardiowellnessgroup.com. And remember, today is the best day to begin to take care of your health.